In this tutorial, we're going to add some lights to the scene and adjust their settings. There are four standard types of lights available in Unity. Directional, Point, Spot, and Area. There may already be a directional light in your scene by default. Delete it by right-clicking on it in the Hierarchy panel and selecting Delete from the drop-down menu. The directional light is like the sun and it's usually used to illuminate an entire scene. A point light behaves similar to a light bulb, lighting up whatever is directly around it but losing intensity as we get further away from the source. Spotlights behave like spotlights in real life, like you would see at a concert or a stage performance of some kind, where the light creates a bright illumination around whatever object it is pointed at and lights it up dramatically, like a torch, a car light, or a searchlight. The area light emits light from one side of a rectangular shape and creates a softer, subtler lighting effect that can be suitable for more realistic scenes, for example interiors or street lighting. Before we set up the lights in the scene, let's add a simple environment for the tank. Go to Game Object and add a plane from the 3D object menu. Reposition and resize it so that the tank is resting just on top of it, as if the plane were ground terrain for the tank to drive around. First, we'll add a directional light to the scene from the Light menu in Game Object. Try moving it around and scaling it. Notice that this has no effect on the light in the scene. The only property that matters with the directional light is the rotation. Adjust the rotation and you'll see that the light moves, casting longer or shorter shadows. By default, the directional light may be too bright for the scene, so we can adjust the intensity and many other properties in the inspector window. You can also change the light's color by clicking on color and choosing from the palette. Delete the directional light, add a point light to the scene and place it just above the tank. Experiment and move it around. Rotation doesn't do anything for the point light, only moving it changes its effect. You can adjust the intensity, the color, and the range of the point light in the inspector panel. Delete this point light and now add a spotlight to the scene instead. Rotate and move the spotlight so that it looks like a front beam shining from the front of the tank. Duplicate the spotlight and place it on the other side so that there are two lights from the tank. You can also turn off the scene lighting if you want to be able to see all the objects without having any lights in the scene. For now, make sure it's turned on. Download a sand texture from Google Images and apply it to the plane. Add a directional light to the scene and adjust the intensity so we can see everything. Save your scene and save your project. This has been a short tutorial on using lights in Unity 3D.